Okay, I'm going to show a little bit about the tornado that woke me up this morning about 3 in the morning. Um, didn't really come that close to here. To, you know, I'm, I'm close to valleys. I'm between valleys and Morganton. Um, I'm going to look at, right here I'm showing you just a static image looking at what's the tilt, 6.4 degree tilt. And I'm going to work my way successively lower and lower down to the 0.5 degree tilt. That one is the lowest angle of the radar. So each time it goes around, it like raises up a notch and you know, you're know you looking higher and higher into the atmosphere. 0.5 is the lowest one. And the closer you are to the radar, the lower that will be. You know, because it's still, uh, you know, it's an, if you think about a, an increasing incline, starting at the tower, the radar tower, it's, if it's pointing at a 0.5 degree above the horizon, the farther away you go, you can see it's going to be farther up in the atmosphere. So uh, this is a KGSB in Greenville Spartanburg radar, so it's not really close to us, but it's, it's probably the closest, I guess. All right, uh, this is right here you can see Morganton, and there's Valdez, and uh, let, me, let me turn off this road sign that I-40 gets in the way. This is a 6.4 degree angle, and as you go down, you're going to see more and more of the actual funnel cloud, I guess you would say. Uh, you're going to see the, the, the tail that they're always talking about, the hook, the signature hook. Um, here's 4 degrees, and let me get a little closer in here. And we're looking at 3.2 degrees, and here's 2.4 degrees. 1.8 degrees. That actually almost looks like a <laughs> something rotating. Uh, that almost looks like it has an eye. It's a 1.3 degree. Here's the 0.9 degree. You can see uh, a little bit of a tail there, a little hook. And here's the 0.5. This is looking the lowest one. So this is closest to the ground. And you can see there's a distinct hook there. Uh, this is as it was passing over I-40 and uh, the radar software didn't have any more of it because it, the software had crashed at about 2 a.m. so I got uh, awakened from the lightning so I ran in here and turned the thing on and uh, restarted the radar software so I'm gonna play you a loop now of what I have of it it's actually work, working its way backwards I don't know why it starts that way, but uh, I have it set up to do the rocking motion. Once it's all loaded, it'll go at its normal speed. There we go. I believe that's the first frame. That's the first one. It started at 258. So it was confirmed, uh, I believe it was EF1. Uh, in Caldwell County, and the county line's right here. So you can see that's probably where it where it touched down. Pay a little more attention to what I'm actually taping here with the uh, camera. But in case you missed it on the news, that's it. That's the uh, the tornado that went through.